Hello, hello, Slim Kirby here. I am here to take you to a place called Vertigo. Well, Vertigo Verge, but yeah, whatever. Donkey Kong Land 3, welcome back. Last time, Miller Instinct. This time, Vertigo Verge. Last level wasn't just Miller Instinct, but you know. Um, we're doing this level now. Let's, let's just get into it. Oh, we have... Okay, it's the canyon levels. I kind of forget what, like, these levels are normally called. I just call them the, kind of the canyon levels, because... Cliff levels! I think they're called cliff levels, actually. But yeah, they kind of have these here. They have these, like... <laughs> Is it rain? I guess it's rain. I always thought it was, like, little leaves falling, but no, I guess they're raindrops. It kind of sucks to, like, climb this while it's raining. Wouldn't that make, like, the like cliffs, like, really slippery? Just not safe. Donkey Kong Country... Donkey Kong Land 3 is not a safe game, guys. It's not safe. At least the bonuses aren't too hard to find. So do you think uh, Rareware got the rights to use the word vertigo from... Uh, you too. Because <laughs> I don't think they did. Although, you two didn't copyright the word vertigo. <laughs> it's just a song lyric. Okay, so there's got to be a reason we need this. Well, I see why it's named Vertigo Verge, because we're, like, climbing down the cliff. Which I guess is kind of unique, because I believe in every Donkey Kong Country 3 variation of this, you always, you know, climbed upwards. So, it's different. I do like the unique aspect of it. I don't think I actually... I theorized that I might have needed that barrel for the coin, but... Considering there is, like, nowhere else to go, I guess not. Plus there's another one here, so maybe down here? Hello. Goodbye. Fine, I'll grab this one! <laughs> it was just for three bananas. Why were you so hard to grab? <laughs> Is there a little drop off here? <laughs> Maybe to trap the barrel guy, I guess. Why am I questioning Donkey Kong Land 3? Which I already stated before as being the pinnacle of game design. Okay, well, there we go. That's all the bonuses. Let's see. Uh, nope. I'm gonna just skip over you. Gonna walk past you. I'm also not even walking. I'm climbing. Big difference. Why would I say that? Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and climb back up. But yeah, really, really interesting that like a lot of this level is not climbing up, rather climbing down. Which is why you would have vertigo! I mean, I guess you'd have if you're climbing up too, but like... You, you don't, you don't, you don't want to fall faster. <laughs> Polar pitfalls! Okay. Oh wow, we get some ice! Like some snow going on here, too. Man, they really decided to try to up their game for World 3, having, like, environmental weather effects. That's pretty neat, guys. Again, Donkey Kong Land 3, the pinnacle of game design. Well, shoot. <laughs> Guess I'll be coming back later for whatever that was. Hold on, did I see what I thought I saw? I don't know. 
Why is there such a steep pit that you can kind of see inside of it? That just makes me think there's something in there. <laughs> uh, and see, like, that's... Okay, this is obviously something because of that banana, but... That's just the thing I hate sometimes about secrets and, like, side-scrolling platformers like these. Because, yeah, like, sometimes there's just, like, oh, hey, we're just going to put something down here. And if you find it, yay. If you don't, well, <laughs> have fun jumping into every pit until you find it. It's fine when they have indication, like it clearly did here, but... <laughs> Still, though. Just always that fear, because you know that... Developers are more than capable of doing that. Also, I saw that coin back there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you're trying to hide. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. We've we've killed him, I think, 15 times before that, so naturally he's like, maybe I should try hiding. So, you know, g good play, good play. Didn't work, but good play. See, now I'm jumping on every single one of these houses because I already missed something, so I don't want to miss anything else. Even that G. I was not going to miss that G. What did I get hit by? What's the purpose of this? Is there something down there? I'm going to jump down there. I'm going to die, and I'm going to be mad because, like... Okay, good. <laughs> and the secret should not be too hard to find. I kind of figured out where it was anyway. My god. Hoy, gods! It's this one. Oh my god, that wasn't it. There is actually another bonus somewhere. Well, color me... Another color, I guess. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, yeah, the barrel's, like, down here in this pit. I think what it wants you to do is it wants you to go over here to where the next pit is, if I'm not mistaken. Or not. Where do we go? It's not there. Maybe I am just supposed to fall in here. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> There's supposed to be, like, another cannon that's supposed to shoot you there, I guess. But I didn't find it. So I just did it the harder way. Apparently, like, where the inn is, there's, like, another pit that have a cannon that would shoot you there, blah, 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 whatever, found it anyway. We're done with Polar Pitfalls, let's move on to the next level, which is another sheepy shop. Hope you guys want some memory games. We got bear, fish, bird, elephant, bear, fish, bird, elephant, spider. Fish. Bird. Banana. Spider, Dixie, DK, okay, Dixie, Banana, Elephants, okay, there's Kitty, there's DK, and there's Bear. I think I finished that faster than the second one at least. Okay, 40 seconds. Hell yeah. Surface tension. I've got a lot of... S nah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Bash the baddies. The baddies have been bashed. So wait, what level type is this? I guess this is just the, um, yeah, the 
Riverside gimmick, I guess. Well, clearly they didn't want us to find the coin, because... <laughs> I don't see how we'd get that barrel across there, but... We have still not seen Ellie, have we? <laughs> Where's Ellie? Where's the elephant? Where's my elephant? Where's my elephants? Where's my elephants? I saw that. There's something over there. That's a B. <laughs> that is not a bonus. That is not a coin. That was a living, scary-ass bee. Man, I swam through all that for nothing. Oh, well. I feel like I could have gotten that from the top, too, but... Honestly, I have no idea. It is nice to kind of see, like, some intricate bonus areas, because, you know, for other games, it's literally just, oh, here's this, like, straightforward path. But here they actually, like, kind of wrap around the entire area, which is kind of neat. Kind of a cool way to do the bonus areas, I guess. Dare I say the quote of the playthrough? Donkey Kong Land 3, the pinnacle of game design. Well, I guess their budget ran out of uh, those porcupine enemies. <laughs> Crap. I dropped it. I dropped it. Do we have to take that all the way? No? Okay, so there is... I missed a coin somewhere. Unless it was early on and I just forgot that it was early on. Or it's right there. Okay, that, that makes sense. Hey guys, I didn't miss the coin early on. I feel good like I knew that I would now. I feel good. Okay, I'll stop. Slim Kirby, save it for Slim Kirby Sings. A series that is just never coming back. I would like to bring it back at some point, though. Okay, save our game. 40%? I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> That just does not feel like... Because <sighs> we're in World 4 now, right? No, we're, we're in World 3. What am, what am I talking about? We're, we're fine. <laughs> oh my god. Stop with the level names. <laughs> oh god! At least he joined me. <laughs> At least I'll have a friend down there. Okay, let's try this again without dying. Oh, God. Tundra Blunda. It's not even Blunder, it's Tundra Blunda. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to destroy that barrel. I mean, I was, but, like, I wasn't. I just had to destroy something with it, is, I guess, what the big takeaway is from this level. There we go. Tundra Blunder. Oh yeah, another snow level too. Well, I'm getting Dixie back. <laughs> Something I always remember being interesting is, like, you know how whenever you get, like, uh, consecutive hits on an enemy in, like, Mario and it gives you, like, higher point values until you get a 1-up? That actually does exist for Donkey Kong Country. And, like, I first learned it once when I was just watching someone play Donkey Kong Country 1, and it was a level that just had, like, a bunch of enemies lined up, and all of a sudden there was just, like, a life that popped up. I'm like, oh, hey, they actually have that for this game, too. 
It's not something I would have ever noticed or thought about, but yeah. It's kind of cool. Okay, I know I found one bonus area. I don't think I've found any others yet. Although we're not even halfway through the level yet, so... There's still lots of things we have to find. Is there anything up here? Probably not. They have all these, like, bugs just flying in the middle of the sky, and it's like... Oh, hey, there's something there! Oh, there's not. Never mind. See, like, even for that, like, what was the point of that? Is there something in this pit? Man, I don't know. I can't see. There's probably going to be a coin at like the very end of the level like there was in that other level. Ha! <laughs> wow, who could have predicted that? Die. Okay, so we're up to 20 DK coins, which is pretty neat. Did not find the bonus though, the other one. So I will have to go back into that and I believe... Oh no, there's still another level. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find this really quick, so be right back. Okay, so apparently the other bonus barrel is, like, very early. Um, just got to look for one of those flying beetles, because, as I expected, the flying beetles are the hint. I think it's right here, probably. No, really? There it is, I think. I think you gotta like, hit him and then go back to the left. There. That's so like, why? <laughs> why to the left? Like why not to the right where like everyone would go as opposed to the left where it's like, oh hey, there's something here. They don't even like show the barrel over there. It just kind of appears. Also, this is kind of a tricky one, because, yeah, you have to look out for these penguins. Or Lemguins, I think is what they're called. Because there was that level called Lemgun Lunge, or whatever, in DKC3. So I just put two and two together to realize that's probably the same thing. Uh, Redwood Rampage. Oh no, the, rep the Redwoods are alive. <laughs> They're not. They're trees. I mean, trees are alive. It's just... Just not lively. They can still be alive. Can I... Oh, Damn it, Minky. Hey, there's more than one Minky in this level. <laughs> Unlike the last one, where there's like... <laughs> one. <laughs> they also don't really have a pattern in this one like they do in... DKC3, where they actually have like kind of a rhythm to them. Now they just like the... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna throw. No. <laughs> Damn it. Whatever, we got the bear. We got the bonus. That's all I really care about. Because we're going to try again. See, we already got our life back. And we're going to get another life very shortly anyway. Because, again, what's a life counter in this game? Who needs it? Because <laughs> you're going to be over it so easily. 
I guess that's the thing. This is probably the easiest of the Donkey Kong Land games, just due to the nature of, like, how many lives they just, like, spit on you, but, like... I don't know, it just feels like it's the most fun as well, and... You know, I think, overall, I'd rather have a more fun game than a difficult and frustrating one. Now, if it was a difficult, challenging, but fun game, that's a different story. But Don't just be hard for the sake of being hard, you know? Ouch. And see, like, it's hard, because these guys clash against the background so easily, so I can't really see see them most of the time, which is kind of weird. I'm trying to see if I can get up here. I feel like I can, like... Maybe I can. Maybe, maybe I can, like, fall down from, like, a higher platform. Or I can use Squawks. Squawks is probably the... Well, no, because there's an animal sign, isn't there? So it's not that. I just missed something early on because there were like 50 different routes you could go, so... I've already accepted that I'll probably just have to redo this level over again. Fly, Squawks! Lift your wings a little higher so you can do your thing. There we go. Okay, I definitely missed something. <laughs> Come on, like they already have a sign for Squawks, like there's gotta be something else. There's gotta be something in this tree. Or that's just where I got squawks. Oh my god, I'm going backwards now. <laughs> oh fine, I'll get the end. I get... Mm. Nung... I don't know. NG is nothing. <laughs> ng. We spelled the word ng. Uh. Well, I just missed everything there. Except one thing, I guess. So, I guess I'll be on the lookout for that. I'll be right back, and then we'll probably end the video. I know there's a boss level next, but we'll just save that for next time. Uh, be right back. Okay, so the first, or the coin, anyway, um, up here is where the first bonus area is that we found. I think we want to go down here, if I'm not mistaken. And I think we just want to keep climbing. Eventually we'll find one of those little spider creatures, and they will take us to the next part. Yeah, this guy. Let me just ride these guys up. Jump up here, I'm guessing. Or jump down, rather. Here we go. That was a terrible throw, Dixie Kong. How could you do that? Let's try again. Okay, so that's that one. Um, the a other bonus is actually closer to the end of the level, so I'm going to have to go back there. So uh, hold on, guys.
Uh, what? <laughs> there was, like, no indication for that. Um, but I found it. It was very well hidden. Too well hidden, you could say. I'll try my best to explain where that is, but, my god, um, I don't know how. There we go. Okay, Redwood Rampage, I think is what this level's called, is over now. So, above this platform where I am now is where the letter G was. And then I guess the barrel's just here. I do not get it, but whatever, we got it. So let me get hit to get out of the bonus area. Let's get back to the world map. And we're good. So, next time, we're going to fight our good friend Eric from uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. So, see you guys then. We'll finish up this world. And, as usual, start working on the next one. Later, folks.